So hi there. Welcome back to the next video. This video is about the demonstration of a massage of someone uh, giving you a massage for yourself, as I think on the previous uh, videos, which were about massages by yourself to achieve muscle relaxation. The main techniques are exactly the same. We have to open the nodes in any, any region first, and then we have to clear the muscles in the nodes so that the waste goes into the blood, and then it goes in, in, into the muscle, into the blood, it goes into the blood in the subclavian vein, and then the liver and the kidneys sort out the waste. The, the, I call it deep tissue massage with deep lymph drainage because it's deep tissue because it works right through the depth of the muscles and it's deep lymph drainage because the muscles are totally freed of dehydrated lymph when the process is finished. Uh, it's immediately replaced the muscle in, in, in the muscle with liquid lymph which means that the muscles then act normally and feel much better. Dehydrated lymph acts like muscle glue causing adhesions between the muscle fibers and the effect is that the muscles can shorten but can't get back to their original length. Uh, it also causes, when the muscles shorten, it causes posture problems, it causes movement restrictions, it causes fluid retention, and it causes um, obviously a damaging effect on your immune system because the lymph system is a major part in that. Uh, tense, tense muscles then act on the nerves, particularly like in, like in my case, I've experienced it with the sciatic nerve, and they can cause anything from pins and needles to slight pain, to severe pain, to numbness when the muscle totally strangles the nerve. Um, uh, we then, we then um, by clearing this oil of the body and the muscles get back to their lip, liquid, lip, they, they flow through each other and you don't have any restriction on movement. So if you go, oh, I can't move my neck any further, you can actually get full rotation because the muscles are free to move. I'm sorry I'm using a paper, but I'm just doing it to remind you. For a pregnant woman, uh, when they get to about, say, five months and, and the belly is starting to swell, it's very good. The best thing I've found with this, a flat table like this is to use a child's water safety ring, about a quarter to a third inflated, placed under here. It makes the belly quite stable and it prevents the, the surface of the belly pressing onto the table and causing extra pressure. The, when, a, when a person has had a mastectomy, a woman's had a mastectomy, um, on one side they can use a small cushion on that side, or when they've had a double mastectomy, I had some hospitals like that, have a larger pillow to make it so that the spine is a, not uh, compromised at all, and it's comfortable for the person lying there. Um, now I should say a bit about um, what the, what the massage actually achieves. It can it's substantially, I mean, it systematically eliminates fluids with the toxins in from the muscles. This can remediate things like frozen shoulder, where you, where you can't move your arm above a certain height, or scoliosis, where there's a bend in the spine, or lordosis, where the back sits out here, like a young woman wearing heels to get this tip forward. Naturally, her, her body tips, tips herself back, so she gets tight in the quads, and also to tight, there's a tightness in the back. But then the, the, the quads pull down, the muscles in the back pull up, and the pelvis rotates, causing a, a, a sort of a, a rise out here called lordosis. And this, this technique will get rid of that as well. Um, and look, even I've had one young person also with kyphosis bent, bent quite forward, and by releasing all the muscles through their chest, they were then lying flat on the table, and they said it was the first time that it had ever happened to them. Uh, the fluid removed goes into the blood through the subclavian vein and the kidneys and so on sort it all out. This can, the fluid removal from the muscles can actually contribute to weight loss, of course, in a temporary sense. I had one young woman who lost three kilograms and an older woman who lost two and a half kilograms in the, in the few hours after the massage. Of course, yeah, this also, with a woman particularly, causes uh, changes in size of the bosom and the uh, bottom which may be usually reducing size, which is not, not always welcome, but very often is. <laughs> uh, after the massage, the toxic weight can make you feel dazed because it's in the blood going into the brain. And so you, if, you're going to have a, if you're going to drive away from a studio, you need to make sure you're very focused before you go and have a few glasses of water as well. 
few mouthfuls of water, sorry, not glasses, that's a little lot. Um, uh, with a person who, I've had two customers who both drank uh, and smoked wildly, and they took four days before they got a clear head again, because it takes that long for the liver, the liver to metabolize the waste that have been put into the blood. But the most common reaction people have had uh, have, have, from hundreds of massages was, I never felt so good, which is very well, of course. Uh, sports people, I had cricketers, tennis players, cyclists, all said that they perform at their very best within two days after the massage, because the freedom of the muscles makes their movement so much less inhibited, and therefore uh, much more, uh, achieve much better results. Excuse me, I'll have to turn over again. The materials I use for the massage to reduce the friction with a lady, I use a, a previously blended oil, sold from an oil blending manufacturer, and uh, the one it contains uh, almond oil, apricot kernel oil, macadamia oil, sunflower oil, and safflower, safflower oil, and also some additional fragrances. For men, I use a water-based water -based, uh, lotion. With a, man, with a man who's got a hairy skin, the oil slips, causes you to slip on the skin and grab on the hair, and that is not very pleasant. But with a lotion, it just moves straight through. Uh, to, uh, the, but what I also should mention now is some ways that I care for myself, because I, after spending decades with racket sports, and then I, I, with training and practicing massage as a business for 18 years, I put a lot of pressure on my hands, and uh, I have very little cartilage left where the radius joins the wrists on both sides. So I take um, some supplements, I don't take any medications, I take some supplements to decrease these effects are from these, and so basically I have a pain-free life. Um, cold weather can cause a little bit of achiness, but it's generally not too bad. I take one, um, one capsule of curcumin per day. This contains, this is a low level, it contains 630 milligrams of curcumin, um, and that's for, and it's anti, strong anti-inflammatory and tends to prevent pain. I take one, uh, one capsule of a good quality fish oil, premium fish oil, Melrose is one example, and um, the, they, uh, those, two, those two together are anti-inflammatories and cause the pain not to be produced. I take one glucosamine tablet which contains uh, chondroitin and MSM, and the value of that is to make, help preserve, you know, maintain the cartilage in the actual joints. And finally I take a, capsule, a tablet of magnesium because uh, magnesium is a bit of, like a switch for letting the muscles go, so it stops you getting cramps and so on. And if I've, I've got a version that says it's one a day, but I find that sometimes if, I had, if I've done three massages and it's a hot day, on the way home I can sense a little cramp coming to this finger here, or the fibularis muscle coming in here, and I just stop and take an extra tablet, and by the time I go home it's all gone. So magnesium is very valuable to me. Uh, that is really the, the, the preparation of well, the, the, how the massage is done and what it's meant to achieve and what can be an effect on you. I'm uh, first now going to go on to do the massage and need to show you how we go about setting up the table as the first step. The first thing I do, uh, I, I use the towel to protect the head. The towel to protect the head, we fold over one time and then we fold over the next time. That makes a nice, comfy layer of fabric. Pull it over like that, so there's a slip down the middle, and I pull it up to the headpiece, place it so that there are no folds, so then the, the cheeks are supported, the head is supported by the cheeks, which is on a nice soft surface, and there's a slit in the toweling to enable the person to breathe comfortably. At the other end of the body, we use a bolster, this is just a, a foam bolster, and when the person's pro with their face in here, then we put this under the ankle so that the legs are at the right angle, and when the person turns over, we put this under the knees, so when they're supine, they're under the knees, uh, so that the pelvis is at the right angle, it doesn't cause any discomfort. Uh, 
there are some special cases, like for example, with a, a pregnant female, once the, the baby bump starts to get pronounced about the fifth month or so, then it's best to use a child's water safety ring, partially inflated about a third, a place where the, the bump is, and then uh, the, baby, the, 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 the mound is actually makes the body feel quite stable in the ring. It doesn't can't roll about. Um, but then on, when, the, when we turn over, because the fetus puts pressure on the main vein in the body, what we need to do is to make sure that the, the body is not flat on the table. So we put a roll of towel, small in this, but down, say, the right-hand side of the body. So the, the, the right shoulder's here, left shoulder's here. And that way, the, the, the baby can't, the, the fetus that's developing cannot flatten the main vein and cause, compromise the blood flow in the parent's body. Which of course will also compromise the, the flow in the baby's body as well. Um, the other thing is that with a lady who's had a mastectomy or a double mastectomy, it's also important to use small cushion, for example, if there's just one side that's been operated on, or a, a larger cushion where both sides have been operated on, just to make them feel more comfortable on the table. Otherwise, their head gets too pushed out too far into the hole and the neck is all wrong. So it's important to have that sort of preparation before you start. That deals with what we're aiming to do, and I've shown how to set the table up, and now the next thing is to go into the actual massage. Right, during, in the first part of the uh, massage, we do a full body massage, and we start off doing the back. We do a full body because any part of one muscle can be blocked, and that uh, affects the operation of the whole limb system. So we start on the back, and we work through the body in stages. Uh, so uh, first of all, we have to open the nose, where we're going to pull the stuff from the neck and the upper back. The nodes are in the, in the crease in the armpit here, and we open them by pressing down through the space here, There's a, where you feel the point of the, of the shoulder blade, the scapula, you pull down, push down through there, there we are, and you feel like there's a little squelchy feeling in your fingertips, and that means that the lymph has gone through into the nodes, so the nodes are open. We do that both sides, I'm oh, sorry I'm going to be in and out of the picture like this, getting my oil and so on, but the next. Down to it, past the point there of the scapula. Yeah, it's clenching very nicely. I should have introduced the client first. This lady is, her name's Deb, and she's been a customer of mine for 17 years, so she knows the ropes, which is very useful. <laughs> and after explaining to her what's going to happen. Pull down the stuff from the muscle on the neck and around the scapula. So I put the skull in the occiput and pull down the side of the neck. You feel stuff come down there and then push it down. Oh, it's lovely. So it's straight through. Very good. And that's prepared the top part. The main collecting areas for lymph before it dries out is where muscles meet bones. So the next part, next thing we do is to go over the top of the pelvis here because stuff that can't get into the nodes here and goes up to the neck should come down the muscle here, the side of the spine. When you can see muscles, they're dehydrated, so we've got to get the stuff out and they'll be rehydrated. And then that, first of all, we've got to clear the space across here from the lymph so that the stuff can flow through into the nodes in the top of the legs. Go through with your forearm, you feel again a little crunch, a little vibration, which means that the stuff is on the move, which is good. Just there. You can't hear it, but there's quite a good crunching sound going on <laughs> in, 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 inside it, meaning that the stuff is breaking down, ready to go into the nodes down here, and come back up the body and go into the blood up here. We 
try and go over every part of the body twice because the second time is much more effective than the first. The first can be quite sore when you're having a first massage because we're having to push dehydrated lymph, which is like almost a solid material, through channels where liquid's supposed to go. And that is like, it causes like a burning sensation, not very pleasant. It's very good in that they're clearing the stuff, but it's not very nice. Next, we clear the muscles here that there are three parallel paraspinal muscles the spinae, which connect the, the vertebrae together, the long lordismus, long lordismus, which goes down from the neck right down to here, and then the iliocostalis from the ribs down to the pelvis, which is not so important. This is the most important one. It's supposed to take the stuff from here down here and deliver it into the nose down there. So, next thing we're going to go through there and check out. I use my hands like this. Never use your hands separately. Never separate your fingers if you can avoid it. And never, I'll never use your thumbs if you can possibly avoid it. So I use my hands together. Got my little finger going on the second muscle out from the spine. The long distance, right? So, oh, very good. with all the fingers together. Oh, they feel like a punching vibration as the stuff goes over the shoulder, the, the nodes. I had one cloth customer who had a, a job where he was flying on planes very many days a week and sitting at a computer most of the time, so his back muscles were dried out. And when I first met him, his head was over like on one side with his ear, nearly touching his shoulder, and his partner said he'd been like that for about eight months, and he couldn't stand up straight, and she'd been to a chiropractor with him, and the lady broke his rib, <laughs> can I fix it? And I said, well, if it's a different they're drying out and the muscles on either side of the spine, it'll be fixed. So I did the work. It was, it was extremely dehydrated down here. I cleared the muscle and after one massage, he was standing up perfectly straight. And the main, his, his first comment was, gee, I never felt so good. And she was saying, he's straight, he's straight. The first time for months. <laughs> it was lovely to see the delight. <laughs> Next, we clear around the actual. Oh, Next, we clear around the actual shoulders. Just gently make sure the person is not trying to help you by doing something with themselves. They're just tightening up muscles. Support the shoulder, the front of the shoulder, with the hand, and then work through the part of the muscle past the, the tip of the scapula down. Towards the nose, you'll feel some stuff going, and the person's had not, not had a massage recently. Just loosen things up and drag the stuff through, the path into the nose, just down a little bit over the edge of the shoulder. Right. And leave the arm out there. I'm working the muscles under the subclavus, and the teres muscles in there. Just, just touch our nose, pull the stuff out, and push it out of the way. So the shoulder's nice and free. Supporting the shoulder, and we go through the pathway down the point of the scapula. Take, go through the muscles on the above and below the spine of the scapula here, supraspinatus and infraspinatus. Push this up out to the side and push it down through it here, and then gather it up. Okay. 
Let me try to see the engine now. Just got done. Try to get something in here. Another customer I had was a young man about in his early 20s, and he had a triple scoliosis here, and a headache. And after the massage, he was totally free of pain and discomfort, and the scoliosis had gone. Finally, we just went down from the top of the body, to check about its flexibility. One of the few movements where I actually do a pushing with my hand. Most of the time I'm arranged just to pull it, so I always take it out the tension from the wrist and if I don't get don't hurt myself. And that's the back finished. So we cover up and Another towel to cover the back. And the first thing you do is to try the shoulders and just try and get a pinch test. Oh, that feels nice. If the stuff means the stuff's got out of there, and a little bit of vibration work to put them in score. All feeling very good and free of the unwanted dehydrated lymph. And that brings to an end the first part of the massage, which is the doing, doing the back. Uh, because all the nerves from the brain go down the spine, it helps you connect a bit with the rest of the body as well. Mm -hmm.